Hi, I'm Tom Barry Cutter, and it's my pleasure to welcome you aboard the official walkthrough tour of Maritimo's new leader of the fleet, the M75 Flybridge Motor <laughs> So as we embark on this tour, let's delve into some of the key specifications and core principles that really define the M75 and the broader M-Series Flybridge motor yacht range from Maritimo. The M75 marks a very special milestone for Maritimo as it coincides with our 20th anniversary celebrations. So this motor yacht doesn't just embody three years of product development, but more so two decades of refining our craft. We've drawn inspiration from Maritimo owners around the world. Their insights have been invaluable in shaping the M75 into what you see today. Our vision for the M75 was to create the ultimate long-range cruising flybridge motor yacht. This vessel is a testament to our commitment to mastering enclosed flybridge design. With a hull measuring 75 feet 8 inches in length and 19 feet 8 inches in beam, the M75 is designed to provide exceptional seaworthiness, comfort, stability and efficiency for extended voyages. Fuel efficiency and range set the M75 apart from any other flybridge motor yacht. With its capabilities, you can comfortably cruise nearly 4,000 nautical miles at just under 7 knots, or 1,500 nautical miles at 10 knots, or kick it up to an 80% load cruise at 22 knots, and you'll still achieve over 600 nautical mile range. This allows you to explore passages and destinations that very few vessels of this size can access. Even with Maritimo's signature deep keel, the M75's ultra-low shaft angle provides a very comfortable draft of 1.6 metres, opening up a world of possible anchorages. During the tour, we'll also explore all of the reliable systems and the advancements in technologies that Maritima has become renowned for. Being able to cruise further and more confidently is the very essence of what Maritimo is about. On board the M75, you'll find an abundance of living space and interior volume. This motor yacht features interconnecting spaces designed for both comfort and convenience that can adapt to any weather conditions at any time. Every adventure begins by stepping aboard the incredible adventure deck, giving you a glimpse into the impressive amounts of volume and space aboard the M75. The adventure deck space delivers the most amazing versatility in lounging, entertaining, adventuring and storage. It's an area where you're both protected and covered by the hard top, but also have very close proximity to the water. So the Adventure Deck space is a very versatile lounging, relaxation or storage hub. The entire space, including the hydraulic swim platform and Adventure Deck itself, measures over 21 square metres or 226 square feet. So for those owners looking for a little bit more of a separation and barrier to the water and not that proximity, we also offer a few optional units that we can put here on the rear of the Adventure Deck which also includes solid GRP gates. So flanking each side of the adventure deck here in the rear portofinos, um, we have high-low cleats both sides, and then we have this uh, fair lead system here as well, and we do have the option here for an electric capstan winch as well. Also flanking each side of the adventure deck, just in front of the fair leads here, we have line lockers each side. Um, they're a very big locker as well, so great for storing all of your lines in. Uh, for Australia and New Zealand, we have the shore power located there on the port side as well. Uh, for US boats, we have the Glendenning moulded into a kick here at the rear of the Portofino. Within the Adventure Deck Lazarette garage hatch, we also have three manual opening hatches there. So that provides very convenient and fast access to every side and uh, area within that Lazarette garage below. Um, but that also grants access, whether you're running two jet skis on deck or just a central tender on deck as well, it gives you access uh, to whichever isn't being blocked. This entire hatch here opens to reveal a very cavernous lazarette garage which can be double as storage for water toys and owner's gear as well. So moving to the front end of the adventure deck, here we have the Ford entertainment unit. And here on the port side, that starts with top loading refrigeration. So we have over 190 litres of uh, refrigeration uh, in here. So uh, great for storing supplies on those sort of longer, longer trips. It's also out of the cockpit as well. So very accessible and you're not interrupting anyone in the seated positions in the cockpit uh, when you're trying to grab a drink. Uh, here in the centre, we have the grill station here. So we've got solid surface countertop. Uh, we've got sink with a hot and cold mixer there and then you have various options for, for grills. So we have one single large grill, or you can opt for two smaller grills uh, here on the entertainment unit as well. 
And at the starboard side of the Adventure Deck Entertainment Unit, we also have the access to the utility cabin or crew cabin, but we'll get to this area when we cover the engine room part of the tour. So the Lazarette Garage can be opened via electric actuators and opens to reveal what is truly an immense space. This area is perfect for storing all of those items for those long range boating adventures. So stuff like supplies, water toys, and even sub three metre tenders with a 350 kilo davit to launch and retrieve. So moving from the adventure deck to the upper cockpit, just three very manageable steps. And we come to this junction point of the upper cockpit, adventure deck, and side deck access to the forward deck. So securing the upper cockpit area behind me, I'll close these solid GRP cockpit gates here. And as you can see, they're a very sturdy, solid GRP gate here. There's a little relief below there to let any water coming down the side decks out the back onto the adventure deck. And you can also see here, they're integrated into the color theme of the vessel as well. As with all areas on the 75, the design teams worked very hard to try and maximize the available deck space and keep it as open as possible. And here in the upper cockpit space, we've been able to achieve that by moving line lockers from the traditional upper cockpit area down onto the adventure deck location. The entire area is protected by the headliner above, which enables you to get out of the sun, or if you want to get out of any inclement weather, we have this recess in the headliner here, which has the option for either a three-sided roll down clear enclosure, a three-sided manual roll down breezeway enclosure, or for those that really want that very convenient and fast ability to convert this area and enclose it, uh, we have a three-sided electric breezeway enclosure. The headliner above also incorporates stepped feature panelling, which can be optioned with halo mood lighting, which continues all the way from the aft cockpit through the galley, saloon and flybridge as well. The upper cockpit space offers copious amounts of lounging. And shown here is our optional L-shaped configuration with our dining table set up for eight, now that dining table can convert to a banquet setting and comfortably seat 10 when entertaining. And a great benefit with any of the optional furniture on board is the sealed storage compartments that come below the seating. So, and that also includes gas strut assisted opening. The standard upper cockpit configuration is for those owners that want a more open feeling. So we can choose not to option this L-shaped seating and this cockpit table here and run with a aft mounted cockpit table along this rear Euro lounge here and with that as well we can offer bifold doors here which really open up the galley to the upper cockpit space and really connect the two areas. And then moving over to the port side of the upper cockpit we have this large optional wet bar. The wet bar offers a large amount of very usable bench space which is perfect for serving up a banquet uh, whilst entertaining or alternatively instead of the wet bar we can offer this area with additional seating. Now moving to the junction between the upper cockpit and side decks, located both sides are our aft station control lockers. Now these are in a great position to give perfect sight lines both to the transom, over the bulwarks and to the forward cleat. And in the case where an aft station is an option, they provide a great little storage locker. The junction point here also offers a great location for our optional side gates, which are great for boarding from fixed docks, providing very convenient access to the upper cockpit and galley. Connecting the adventure deck and upper cockpit to the forward deck are Maritimo's staple deep walkthrough side decks. These can provide people of any age comfort in navigating their way around the Maritimo M75. And above, we have the brand defining flybridge wings, which give a real motiot feel of coverage to the side decks, but also provide valuable beam to the interior of the flybridge above. Now if you want to move out of the cover and protection of the aft adventure deck or upper cockpit area, we can move to the forward lounging area where you can catch a bit more sun or that afternoon breeze by sitting here in either our aft lounge or our sun pad. Now under that sun pad we have removable tender mounts where you can option up to a three and a half metre tender launched by either a 350 kilo davit or this 500 kilo davit that you see here. The entire foredeck area is finished in a GRP non-skid for ease of maintenance and its great thermal properties in warmer climates. Catchments in this area have been designed as shallow as possible with maximum fall for drainage. This prevents any bathtub effect in big seas. Forward we have flush hatches covering two anchor wells and the anchor assembly area, eliminating any trip hazards. Each side we have deep anchor well storage compartments 
and they flank the centre anchor assembly area with 65 kilo anchor and our Muir Thor heavy duty horizontal anchor winch with both standard on deck and flybridge controls. <laughs> Just a single step up from the upper cockpit and we enter our Hallmark aft galley. Now the aft galley concept within a flybridge motor yacht was pioneered by Maritimo 20 years ago. It has now become an industry standard as it keeps you central to both indoor and outdoor dining areas, meaning owner operators are able to engage in the conversation whilst preparing for guests. The M75 aft galley is larger and more capable than what you'd find on just about any other motor yacht of its size. This reflects our commitment to accommodating to long-range liverboard adventurers. You do get a sense of the size of the galley on video, but it really isn't until you step aboard that you get a true feeling for the amount of space and volume of storage capacity. With Miele household size appliances, the galley offers you everything you need for cooking and entertaining. The galley offers you household size upright Miele refrigeration, it also features the vertical appliance unit, which can be optioned with various appliances, such as the wine fridge and Miele oven that we have here. Moving forward, we have a vast amount of working bench space, which includes a four burner electric hob with extraction above. You've got the double sink here, and you see that glass splash extend all the way around, which also features over into the internal staircase. Below that bench, we have immense amount of storage capacity with cutlery drawers, cupboards, and pull-out bin. The centerpiece of the aft galley is the island bench, which can come in a number of configurations. This one here, really trying to maximize the amount of available storage with pull-out bin, pull-out cupboard, and a full width Miele dishwasher. And one of the other configurations for the island bench is a breakfast bar arrangement where we can run less storage and a narrower Miele dishwasher, and you can have four stools placed around this island bench here in a breakfast bar setting. Four to the double pantry, we have the standard drawer refrigeration there, as well as ice maker. Moving to the port side of the galley, there's even further storage with the household size full height double pantry. Moving from the aft galley to the forward salon, again, just a single step up, and we move into what is truly a remarkable open and airy space over to the port side here, we have this dinette setting which can very comfortably seat eight guests and can very easily and conveniently fold up to save valuable space for lounging or thoroughfare when it's not in use. To the starboard side of the lawn, we have this ginormous U-configured lounging setting. This is perfect for lounging, relaxing, or even being an onboard cinema. The sheer size of this lounge area allows you to do a lot of things we have this large ottoman here with it set up like that, which is great to put your feet up on in a cinema setting, but you can also go with a lower coffee table. We've also got the fabric spec here on this showboat, uh, but we can go with a leather option if you prefer that. The Vista sliding window option can provide you with a very reliable and durable manual sliding window system for both the flybridge and main salon interior, allowing you to really connect with the outside environment. Integrated into the front end of the port side dinette lounge is a standard 65 inch TV on electric lift. This massive TV is not just great for viewing at the lounge area, but it's also highly visible from both the galley, upper cockpit, and even the adventure deck barbecue area. To the port side of the saloon lounge is another one of Maritimo's signature features that 20 years ago truly defined the Maritimo flybridge motor yacht design amongst a sea of flybridge cruisers of the era. The internal staircase provides both convenient and safe access to the flybridge in almost any conditions. It's this space where Maritimo's brand defining flybridge wings provide dividends. The internal beam of the flybridge and the internal beam of the galley are the same enabling the stairs to be located hard to the outer mouldings of the main deck, providing nearly 12 inches more beam to the galley. And this also provides around another two feet more internal flybridge beam versus a conventional flybridge design. Atop the internal staircase is further storage, as well as the vessel's switching and breaker cupboard. The internal staircase can also be optioned with a glass enclosure. Now this glass partition delineates the zones between the main deck and the flybridge 
um, enhancing sound suppression. So that's great if you have the area set up as sleeping accommodation with the sofa bed and optional head, or can be as simple as just trying to maximize sound suppression when underway. The flybridge is where the M75 really separates itself from any other flybridge motor yacht or cruiser and where Maritimo truly cement ourselves as world leaders in flybridge motor yacht design. The aforementioned internal beam enhances this space into something really not seen until you're in the 90 foot category. Greeting you atop of the flybridge staircase is another ginormous U-configured lounge with fold out sofa bed. The lounge centres upon an inboard position entertainment unit with optional 50 inch TV on an electric lift. TV is perfectly positioned as another entertaining area or as a teenager's or young family retreat. Moving to the flybridge balcony, sliding doors stack away to the starboard side and when combined with those Vista sliding windows, you have the ability to completely open the interior of the flybridge up to bring the outdoors in. If you want to continue that theme out here onto the flybridge balcony, we have the option for a sunroof or the standard two deck hatches above to help bring more of that openness into this area or if that inclement weather rolls in, again like the cockpit below, we have the recessed cavity in the headliner for optional roll down, breezeway or clears. The flybridge balcony can be optioned in a multitude of design configurations. Here on this M75, we're set up for the ultimate in lounging and entertaining. To the starboard side of the balcony, we have yet another ginormous U-configured lounge, which can also be set up as a dining area if desired. And to the port side of the flybridge balcony, we have this incredible three-stool bar arrangement. The bar can be optioned with a number of configurations, including anything from sink, trash receptacle, storage, bar fridge, ice maker, or even beer on tap. And when optioned above, our halo mood lighting runs continuously from exterior to interior. The M-Series flybridge layout is focused on creating a social space for owner operators at the helm, enabling guests aboard to be a part of the cruising experience with a forward-facing vantage point from the cruising lounge area opposite the helm. The cruising lounge also provides a comfortable lounger to kick your feet up on those longer halls. And adjacent to the helm area, there is storage and power supply for charging devices. The M75 helm area, being Maritima's latest helm design, is the result of a vast amount of valuable input from Maritima owners from around the world. The area features our new standard bespoke custom-made helm seats, which feature electric movement and recline, as well as heating. This really comes in handy on those longer hauls which Maritima owners know so well. These helm seats come with a vast amount of travel as well as two footrest locations which give you a lot of adjustability in how you want to set up your driving position. The travel design into the seat enables the skipper to really tuck themselves into the dash if they wish, really becoming one with the space, keeping everything at arm's length which is great for those bumpier days. The main display pod is designed for the specific display package which it's been optioned with, so there's a perfect fit around the instruments every time. With triple 22 inch displays that you see here, there's uninterrupted sight lines down to the bow from any seated position. Sight lines around the helm and the entire flybridge have also been perfected to try and minimise any obstructions and maximise visibility. We've designed in a few storage nooks throughout the helm area, as well as some different cup holder locations, including in the centre console, where we've designed in wireless charging. And back down on the main deck, making our way to the accommodation deck, we have the atrium staircase. Now this is a feature in all Maritimos, which brings a lot of natural light in through the windshield, down through the companionway and into the lower deck. So this area also incorporates a feature staircase design with these open floating treads. Again, we've tried to design in as much open airiness into the boat as possible, really making the boat feel spacious. So that brings us to this upper landing where conveniently here we have the access to the day head, which also doubles as the guest ensuite for the two guest cabins here on the upper landing. Making our way from the upper companionway to the Ford VIP stateroom, we have our signature offset queen berth. Now this configuration enables us to have flat floor all the way around the berth, which makes getting in and out of the bed and making the bed a lot easier compared to your traditional V berth. 
So the design team has tried to maximise every little bit of space for storage within the accommodation areas of the 75. Here under the offset queen berth in the Ford stateroom is a great example. We've gone to great lengths to provide as much clothing storage for VIP guests aboard by providing six drawers within the cabin as well as a full height hanging robe. And at the foot of the berth we have the standard 50 inch wall mounted TV with integrated panelling. And once again above in the headliner, another deck hatch for both natural light and ventilation. To port side, the VIP stateroom also includes its own private ensuite, again with medicine cabinet storage, storage cupboards, a large shower and deck hatch. Moving starboard to the guest stateroom, we have a very generously sized twin cabin, which can easily convert to a queen cabin in a matter of seconds. To the forward outer hull side, we have a full height hanging robe. On the forward bulkhead, we have an optional 32 inch TV wall mounted with feature panelling. Again, above there is an opening deck hatch to the headliner, which brings in fresh air and natural light. Move into the day head and guest ensuite. We continue that theme of openness and natural light and ventilation, which is brought in from the deck hatch above. And in this area, we have ample amounts of storage via drawers in the lower vanity and then medicine cabinets behind all of the mirrors. There's then a large shower to the starboard side, which incorporates even more storage for shampoo, conditioner and soap, as well as a shower seat to the outer hull side. Moving across the companionway to the port side bunk stateroom, Again here we've been very generous in the size of the cabin and the size of the bunks themselves, incorporating two true adult sized single bunks. Then moving from the Ford stateroom down to the lower deck, the design of our companionway stairs and atrium has allowed us to incorporate this incredible laundry area right in the center of the accommodations of the vessel. The laundry area incorporates either separate washer and dryer or combo washer and dryer with linen cupboard as well as a pull out storage rack. And in the forward bulkhead of this laundry area, we have our primary access to the forward bilge. And within this space as well, both the open treads within the staircase as well as this mirror on the aft bulkhead really give that impression of space within this area. And finally, welcome to the master stateroom aboard the 75, where you get this immense sense of volume and space in this area, provided by the near 20 feet of beam and six foot 10 inches of headroom combined with these incredible panoramic hull windows. At Maritimo, the interior selection experience has been elevated even further to provide owners with an array of headboard, feature panel and material colour options. Owners are able to select between four distinct colour themes in June, Haven, Oyster and Cove. And they can also select between three Enviro timber veneer colour options in either full gloss or grain filled satin. There are also three headboard and feature panel options to select from with fluted panel and herringbone, abstract or timber slats all able to be selected. Finally, there are six decor themes which can be selected, giving owners countless combinations so that they can personalise their Maritimo to be truly one of a kind. The master stateroom is designed around a centre-line king bed and outer cabinetry modules which can be optioned as either drawer set, desk and drawers or lounge and drawers. The Ford bulkhead in the cabin is home to full height mirrors both sides with half height hanging robes as well as a centerline 55 inch wall mounted TV and feature panel. Then moving aft we have the walkthrough robe area with twin full height cedar line robes which is conveniently located next to the opulent master ensuite. The vessel's theme of volume and space carries into the impressive master ensuite with twin vanities, endless storage drawers and cupboards and the very generously sized shower with hull window, opening port and privacy blind. And as mentioned earlier, there's additional accommodation here in the crew quarters. Now that's accessed via the Adventure Deck Entertainment Unit in that starboard side hatch. In addition to the twin bunks, the crew cabin also includes a wet head to the port side with toilet, shower, sink, mirror, 
and also includes a three hook quarter height wardrobe cupboard to the starter side. And moving into the 75 engine room space, Maritima have gone to great lengths to engineer as much space as possible here for both owner operator and service personnel to navigate there around all the machinery in this area. Traditionally, Maritima engine rooms are larger in size to comparatively sized vessels, and the 75 is no exception. Like all Maritimos, the engine room is centered upon a fully molded, solid GRP structural hull liner, which runs from the rear of the crew cabin all the way forward to the forward anchor well. Maritimo uses a patented bonding process in how the structure melds with the hull. That provides greater strength and reduces weight, and as with the hull, the fully lined structure is solid GRP from the top sides down, so there's no stress about water ingress into the core or any delamination. So fuel tanks within the 75 are also integrated into that fully moulded structural hull liner. We have twin wing tanks feeding into a central main tank which goes down into the keel of the hull underneath the accommodation area, which brings the main mass of that 10,000 litres of total fuel capacity down as low as possible in the boat to provide greater stability. The 75 comes powered by either a standard twin Scania DI-16 1150 horsepower V8 engine setup with twin disc gearboxes. That's perfect for those looking for that economical cruise long range adventuring setup. Or for those looking for a bit more of a performance option, we have the Rolls-Royce Power Systems MTU V10 1625 horsepower engine option with ZF gearboxes. As with all Maritimos, the 75 transfers all of that power to five blade Nibral Veen propellers via an ultra low angle straight shaft drive. Standard generator power on board is a 22 kilowatt either Cummins, Onan or Kohler generator located here to the starboard side, where we do have the option as well over to the port side to install a second generator if that's desired as well. And located to the aft end of the engine room as well, we have the design position for optional quick 56 gyro or C keeper 18 gyro. Um, and we also have the secondary access to the engine room from above. Now that hatch is large enough as well that you can retrofit any of those gyros aftermarket. Thank you for joining me aboard the official walkthrough tour of the Maritima M75 Flybridge motor yacht. If you'd like to find out more, please head to maritimo.com.au.